Welcome back to Expeditions. I was going to say Mud Runner. I've never played Mud Runner. This is a Mud Runner game though. And at the end of the last video, we queued up in order to preserve. So we need to get closer to the tower. So have a quick look at the map. And I guess actually we just need to head along there by the looks of things. So let's fire the truck up and get going. And uh, I guess I've learned a few things along the way. Like we can build modules now so we can build a workshop, which has an inventory. We can build an essential store, which lets us store some fuel and stuff. That's OK. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess. We've got a store that's got some stuff in it. Oh, yeah, I guess there's those. OK. Anywho, I've, I guess I've just shown that I really still don't know very much about the game, but I don't care. Let's crack on with some adventuring. And uh, I think the the thing we had to do was put down a couple of weather monitoring stations, which is kind of cool. And what I'm loving is because this is, I think, the first time that we've headed out with a reasonable load in the truck is that the load in the back seems a little bit dynamic. So one of the things that I was wondering is I've been watching a bit of my uh, Mr. Farquhar and we cannot get along there. So that's that plan scuppered um, is and I watched him load a truck up with a load of stuff. And I was wondering if actually it's fairly generic and it just puts in a, you know, a generic covered thing that's static. But actually, they seem to be dynamic objects. And that's kind of cool. I do like that. So, yeah, that's fun. We're still in two wheel drive. I think that's fine. We'll, um, we'll save a little bit of fuel that way, maybe. Um which is probably not a bad thing so we are instead going to so i got stuck there didn't i so if i look i wonder if can we get up there did i miss the really obvious climb maybe i did maybe i did i don't know so this this video be out like a four driver this video which is number four is going out before number three has released um, because i wanted to play some more of the game basically i have not seen your comments on that yet i did try in the last video to bump up the game sound a little bit as a request that i had so i as i i think i went on a fairly long spiel about the fact that i play with a out the game sound i record the game sound but i don't personally listen to it for example i am not listening to it at the moment um let's have another look at them uh, i think maybe we want to go this way yeah so it's being recorded but i'm not listening to it so yeah i did bump up the game sound a little bit i uh i adjusted the um the, the stuff that I use to try and keep the sound somewhat consistent between videos and stuff. So hopefully it was a bit better in the last video. We'll see. And uh, if not, based on the comments, I'll maybe have bumped up the sound a little bit more in this one. Um, I'm so again, it's down to my personal preference. I'm not a fan when I watch other people's gameplay videos of it being dominated by the game sound um, kind of like to hear the person talk and as you will clearly be able to tell my voice is quite quiet so if the game is too loud you won't hear me so that's why the game is quite quiet anyway we are here so stage complete it looks like a fork in the road it's up to you where to go first so we need to install the two portable weather stations so, okay we've got to climb up there or up there i keep keep getting a bit of miley cyrus in my head it's the climb 
Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sing it. Don't worry. No one wants a copyright strike, do they? And my singing is that good. So let's just uh, chug up here. Seems pretty easy. Don't even need to uh, drop the old tire pressures. Maybe. Okay. Let's not get overexcited, shall we? Let's not get overexcited. No counting chickens before and all that stuff. But we made it. We made it. So I'm going to throw the drone up once we've delivered this first one. Oh yay, it's mini game time. Who doesn't love a mini game? Me. Me doesn't love a mini game. Do not see the point in this at all. It is not at all why I want to play this game. It's a driving game. A success for me back right. So I guess I need to go to the other point. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw the drone up. Uh, because I want to fly. I, I think we could drive to that one. Yeah, I think we could drive to that one. And I will be back. My phone is... Yeah, that was the phone. I... Uh, I had a quote done last week to have some fence panels replaced. And that was a phone call. Can we come around and do it now? No, no, you can't come around and do it right now. I don't work like that. You give me notice and then, then you come around. So yeah, next week. They're coming next week. Deliver supplies. Deliver. There we go. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It really fits in with the uh, the historic building that we are preserving. But hey, it's what it is, I guess. And then do we need to get the way over to to the side of, I guess that's what they meant by the fork in the road. Okay. Um, um, let's, let's be sensible, shall we? And we will reverse up. We will revert in, in Please don't be offended. In the tradition of my experience of American somewhat historic sites and driving, we'll just drive over them. I'm going to put that in context. Um, I have been to some somewhat obscure bits of California um, when traveling with work. And uh, it's a place called the... Uh, it's a place called a place. I'm not actually going to say where it was. Because uh, it gives a little bit too much information away. Um, but th this this place is an ancient geological site. Um, which you can drive your 4x4 around. Um, because, you know, how else would you experience ancient geological sites than by 4x4? Um, and I hate to say it, but we did. Um, we had a 4x4. And we uh, we we four by four. Um, you know, it's like when when in Rome, it was the right. Yeah, so we we four by four around the ancient geological site because it was encouraged. There were people camping there and all sorts of stuff. And you know, so I'm not just saying it because I like making fun of America. And yes, I do like making fun of America sometimes, but. This one is actually based on real world experience of being in America. So I'm guessing we're headed for that crack. Uh, let's just pause. I'm very close to um, skipping some time, but we need to get up to can't get high enough, okay? Um, so what I think is, yeah, we go up there. We get up there. Um, we're not going to get up that rock face, are we? No, I don't 
think we're going to climb up that either. Maybe, actually, maybe we go up behind. Maybe we go up the way we've just come down and go round. That would be way sensible, wouldn't it? Okay. And that was uh, that was a bit dumb. Hey. Oh well. Um. Let's off-road. Shortcut. Because in this game, well, based on my monumental four hours of experience of playing this game, and actually more likely from playing things like SnowRunner and Spin Tires. Shortcuts are always quicker in these games, right? Shortcuts are always quicker. I think I'm instantly showing how much quicker shortcuts always are in these games. Come on. So, break. But hey, this is this is part of the the fun of these games. You know, you create your own challenges. So, one of the things that I love. Put so, momentum backwards to save me going into reverse, and then try and bump a bit of steering. One more go, and then we'll go around. Unless I make a bit more progress. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. I'm not actually sure where I'm headed in terms of actually getting up here. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. So let's go back in to auto. Wow, it was a squishy tire. Let's try not to roll over. Well, it was inevitable, wasn't it? Winch. Winch cannot be used now. Okay. Inventory. Jack screw. Uh, there we go. I guess that's why we have them. Onwards. Um, and I think, so, they said, I've been watching a lot, a fair bit of Mr. Farquhar play. Uh, we need to uh, reinflate our tyres. A fair bit of Mr. Farquhar played this game. And um, I think it's some people, are, are, I, I've not watched many other people play it. I've not read a lot about it. But, uh, and it, I guess in a way, it certainly feels at this stage maybe a little bit easier than some of the other games from the genre, particularly with things like that where there's a, a thing that just lets you recover the vehicle. But I think the difference is, and it's something that he mentions a bit, we've only got one vehicle on the map. Whereas in SnowRunner, you would just maybe, and it was what I did on the very first video, because I did deploy two vehicles. Uh, you just jump, you, you would just jump in another vehicle and you would go recover yourself. And, uh, I could see that maybe there's benefit in deploying two vehicles more often, but the jack screw is part of the game, so why wouldn't you use it, you know? Uh, it's actually the first time I've used it, because even in the tutorial bit where it said to use it, I didn't. Oh, oh. no biggies. We almost end up needing to use it again um, why didn't I just go in the canyon? Yeah, let's do that. I know you guys are watching for me to crash anyway, so... It's not... Ooh, steady. Steady. Yeah, it's not a problem. Uh, deliver supplies. Deliver. Excellent. We are good. Job, jobbed. So we somehow uh, we took less than 100 damage. We did good for tires. We did pretty well actually. So yeah, get rewards. Cool. Happy with that. We took 12 points of damage somehow. Not sure how that happened. So I think we'll do another expedition.
So, what have we got next? Breaking Brad. So, th this is exactly what you think it is. Um, biologist Brad Crook has to. Brad Cook has taken a mobile app into the desert and has got lost, basically, and we need to go get him. Um, and yes, it is a Breaking Bad meth lab, essentially. So, we've got to take a Jaeger with us. Um, easy difficulty. Okay, so let's get kitted up. I really want free roam. We This mission will unlock free roam for us, which is cool. So let's grab our Jaeger, Mr. Wilson. So, yep, you're coming with us. Uh, doesn't have a particular requirement for a vehicle. I know we've got to tow something that's a reasonable size. So I think we will take out the Tuz again. Um, and I think... I might throw some spare parts and some fuel. Actually, there are spare parts out in the world, aren't there? So maybe we'll grab those. I am going to take some jack screws and some anchors. So what I really want to do, and we'll do that with free roam unlocked, is actually um, work out where some of the airdrops are. And if there are any airdrops close, we'll see if we can grab some of that stuff out on the map rather than buying it all the time. So let's do that. We'll just check customize. Doesn't look like there's anything new in particular that we've got available to us. So um, I think we're just gonna head off as we are. Like what I am gonna do is what I said, and we're going to throw out is it going to cost us anything to deploy the don just as it is uh, i don't think it does i could be entirely wrong but we're going to do that we're going to just load up the map so breaking brad is there okay uh right it's the evening oh it tells us the time there Cool. Um, right, deploy. So, yeah, we'll set off from the southern outpost. And let's go. Yeah, this is this is a good one. This is a good one. Um, we will then instantly open the map. It tells us, is that new? Is that new? It is now seven in the morning. Right. Arrive at the, the place of departure of the biochemist. But what we're going to do is we are going to swap in to the Tuz. Because that's the truck I actually want to use to do this job. So I think it's going to be the, you know, the, the more suitable jobby. So... If I back up a bit, we got the option to trade. Uh, maybe. One of our supplies, maybe. Uh, okay, stage complete. Scan tire tracks. The biochemist went north. Okay. All the way over. Ready to go. Ready to go. I can't actually tell them that, but over there. Okay. But what I want to do is um, and back trade. Now I don't want to trade with the Don. I thought. Have we got anything in here? Inventory. No. Maybe if I go in this one. So I am, as I, as I keep saying, I am a complete noob at this stuff. So, anyhow, right. So we need. Where are we? We're there. I guess we're headed that way. Right. Let's go. Are we? 
Let's not crash into our own truck. We need to get all the way over there. That's a bit of a, a bit of a journey. Right, we need to get down there. Okay. Uh, this feels like a job for the drone. Uh, let's. Well, I drone on. See what I did there. See what I did there. Uh, Just up ahead there, we can get down there. And then probably down there, yeah. Easy. He says. We could just do a tactical rock. But I think that would be unlikely. He says as he almost tactical rolls off the uh, side of the cliff. So one of the early, early tips that I remember seeing in a video was don't go everywhere full speed. And that's probably why. Yeah, let's just take it a little bit easier. A little bit more gentle. And I, I might not get this mission finished in this video. Um, and if I do, we probably won't get the next one queued up. We'll see. We'll see. Just, uh, I'm really enjoying playing this game. So let's uh, let's play a bit more of it, I guess. There we go. That's where we are. No, that's not where we're headed. We're headed over this way. Where's that bridge? That bridge. Should we have brought more spare parts? It did say to bring spare parts, didn't it? Uh, am I going to have regret coming out completely over Probably. Yes. Oh well. Um, How deep is it? That's... That's possible. I wish... That you could keep pinging the, um... The e echo sounder. Yeah, it is an echo sounder, isn't it? Um, easy. I guess if we've got a pull... I, I don't remember the um, whether we have to pull the Breaking Bad truck all the way back or not. If we do, that might be a job for a second video. Let's go. Echo Sounder says we can get through. Engine damage says otherwise. But we are almost through. Go low ratio. Let's go diff locks. And, uh, we get a little bit of inch full inch. Who uh, had me getting stuck at this point? Um, this is inch, inch, aha, uh -huh. inch. Not a problem. We didn't need no bridges. We don't need no stinking bridges. Name the film. That I'm really badly parodying. sandwich and some fuel. It would have probably been more useful than a sandwich. 
But, you know, don't worry about the important things. We do have the other vehicle, which we could maybe grab some fuel from the base. No. We'll see. We will see. Hopefully we don't have to drive too far. Uh, can we drop down? Yep, yeah, we can drop down there. Geez, I hope he didn't bring this camp that camper this way. No wonder he's been got lost. It's a bit of a track. And as always, turning circle of an oil tanker. Come on, there we go. Come on. Come on. Nailed it. Start scanning. Oh, yay. Mini games. They're the best. I will keep complaining about mini games every time they come up. Deep into the crevices. Okay. Right. So. Check the map. We. Okay, we need to go search that. Can we just not walk after him? You know? If he's on foot, surely he's not gone that far. A couple of bottles of water oh, would be good. Would be easier than trying to drive over some of this terrain. Please let me winch. Please let me winch. Yeah, can we have the option to get out and walk, please? I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with that. I reckon I could cover a decent amount of ground running through this, as long as it wasn't too hot. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, bounce our way up here. We hear that happen to go into reverse. Uh, that wasn't the key I wanted. Winch. No, winch points. I really don't want to deploy an anchor at this point. It's a bit early for that. Back up a bit. Hoping a bit of momentum would get me up there. Okay. Side. We're going this way. Come on. And low ratio diff mop. Somehow, so let's guess we can get up that side. Starting up there, maybe. You're not helping my confidence game by saving. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, no, 
maybe, no, no, now we're stuck. Now we'll deploy an anchor. So this is where having the um, anchors from that you can pick up as you're going around would be good because those you can pick back up again. through here so it's a bit a bit snug a bit snug but we're getting there we're getting there so just check our map again so yeah we need to get through here and then we'll deploy the drone to search because that seems to be the most effective way and I think maybe what they want you to do I'm not sure I am not sure that's the gear ship Let's go. Oh. Uh, inflate your tires. Go back. To, don't like the first person view in this game. Don't think we're going to get the damage bonus this time. Unless it's quite low. We've done a fair bit to the engine. be a bit of a thunk. Let it roll. Let it roll. Go on. I'm trying to save several button presses of deflating the tires. There we go. How are we doing on yeah, we're nearly we're nearly at the area we need to search. I really hope we don't have to pull that uh, wagon back through here. I guess we'll find out. The uh, the Haynes manual comment went down well. I was surprised that you guys have them in the States as well. I did not know that. Uh, it's an educational experience playing this game. Uh, let's pause. Let's... Throw the drone up and uh, fly around and see if we can see Mr. Breaking Brad. Uh, his uh, meth wagon. I guess that's as far as we're going to go, okay? Let's do it. Steady on, kid. Steady on. Right. Let's keep going a bit deeper into the area and we can throw the drone up again, maybe. Doing great for fuel. Not doing great for fuel. Let's knock four wheel drive off when we can. If we can save a little bit of fuel and then put forward drive back on instantly because we've got stuck. Kind of how it goes, isn't it? It's kind of how it goes. So we should definitely have loaded up more fuel. But hey, that'll be a nice cliffhanger maybe for next time. Will we make it back? going. Come on, Brad. Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Maybe we should maybe have brought one of the specialists that helps with the drone. That might not have been a bad idea. Let's throw the drone up again. There's a box there. Oh, there we are. There's something there as well. There he is. Bradley. Bradley, Bradley. I'm not sure what that is. But young Bradders is just around the corner there. So, let's go 
have a word with him. See what he's been up to. We can probably all guess. Because, uh, yep. There's only one reason you're bringing a wagon like that out into the boonies. Um, I don't need to explore the area anymore. He's here. Let's play the game. Oh, please let this count as exploring. We, we know he's just there. I'm going to drive up here and see what that box is, because it might be something interesting. It's an airdrop. It might have some useful stuff in it that we need. jack screws, it has scrap metal, it has bones, but more importantly, it has fuel. We really need, and it has spare parts, which we could really do with. So, then we can... Um, Let's repair the engine a bit. Let's repair. I can't repair the tires. Okay, cool. Let's go. It's got only at 75%, which is a tad annoying, but hey. It might mean that we say so we end up finishing. What's that big box over there? Go have a look at that. We might end up finishing this adventure next time. We'll see, we'll see if my bit of exploring actually counts as exploring the area. It seems kind of a, a weakness of the mission system that I've essentially driven to the objective whilst doing the exploring, but it's not counted as having explored enough. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of a, a bit of a weakness. Is this an upgrade? Here's an upgrade. Let's get the upgrade. So this is the off-road gearbox. Or the Tuz. But not the Tuz SE, I guess. Okay. Oh, cool. That's our first upgrade found. Um, anywho. So we're... Okay, I guess I'm kind of way off track. So... Let's try and drop down. See what this is. It's maybe something for the future. And we'll get back on task. And we'll head back to the area we're supposed to be exploring. At least we've refueled and repaired. So that's removed that worry. And, uh, you know, we know what we're looking for because we found it. Young Bradley is right there. All right. Yes, we'll be back when we're finished looking for you, okay? Oh. Yes, we're just going to go and look for you. And then we'll come back when we've looked for you. Slight weakness of the game mission system, maybe. But, hey. Let's go look for Brad, shall we? Maybe the story is that Brad isn't with his stuff. Right. Okay, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Explore, explore. Maybe I was remembering where to go. On what 
watching someone else do the mission, I don't know. Um, but uh, let's throw the drone up and fly over this way a bit. One of the places we haven't been. Come on, 80, 84, 87. That's as far as we can go, okay. Let's drive some more under if actually we can go drone. drone. Go up this way as well, I think. Some of this we haven't explored. Alright, conductive. Right. What you mean like where we were? real life time because the real life time has a real impact this might be quite a long video actually i'm sure some of you guys won't enjoy that some might not but it is what it is i just wondering why the back suddenly fall but we picked up all those spare parts didn't we so i guess at least if we do have to drive back we can build the bridge on the way back and it was free because we picked the spare parts up from the airdrop, so we've gained some jack through back, so that's good. Oh look, 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 look here, here, here's the, the, the van. Are you ready for a minigame, kids? Bang. Minigame. Nailed it. Bang, mini game. I do find it slightly interesting that they've been able to basically rip off a TV show with no copyright issues. Expedition complete. So we've got the fine tune gearbox. We've opened up the way to Wawip Bay, which is cool. We got all of the bonuses somehow. Cool. And we made a decent amount of money actually so that's pretty good so yeah that's it for today folks i hope you enjoyed this one if you did click the like button comments questions or suggestions below i want to say thank you to the patrons and the youtube channel members and i will see you guys next time for more expeditioning